Hi friends, welcome to Aerotech Solutions. Let's see the application with microcontroller. How to drive electrical loads by using controllers. So to drive your electrical loads, whenever you are looking for home automation applications or industrial electrical loads like motors, single phase motors and electrical fans and tube lights any kind of electrical load you are looking to operate with microcontroller so you should know the popular interfacing circuits in between controller and loads so in that case to interface any electrical load with microcontroller so the important and popular device is relay so relay <coughs> sorry it's a, a basic and standard thing is it is an electromagnetic switch so this relay which will help you to drive electrical load by using simple DC pulse from the controllers and these relays are different types again uh, like AC relays and DC relays are available from market and coming to the Models of relays, there are SPST, SPDT, DPDT, single pole, single through, single pole, double through, double pole, double through. Depends on how many lines you are looking to drive by using relays, they will prefer those type of relays. But for microcontroller interface, you need to prefer only DC relays. Because microcontrollers are capable of generating only DC, DC pulses as logic 1 and logic 0. As for your basic microcontrollers, logic one means 5 volts, which is 8051 and big microcontrollers and Arduino controllers logic are 5 volts for logic one and logic zero, zero volts. But if you go with 32 bit families, again logic are different for logic one, 3.3 volts, logic zero, zero volts. Okay, so, but whenever you are trying to interface any electrical load, so this is one popular interfacing unit between load and micro. Even along with this relays, you can go for alternate switching devices like SCR, silicon control rectifiers and triax. So anyway, SCR is a unidirectional switching device and triax is a bidirectional switching device. And the other industrial purpose switching device is ICBT. So it depends on what kind of application you are going to work, so they will choose different switching units. But among those these three, these four, relay is most popular one for all electrical mic electrical loads in microcontrollers case. But if you proceed with IZBTs and triax, they may use in drives also for industrial speed drives of induction motors. Induction motors means again single phase induction motors. In such cases, they will prefer the soft driving units uh, like triax and IZBTs. So now. How to work with this relay and how to interface electrical load with microcontroller we will see. So we are proceeding with a single pole single throw relay coil and the physical view of relay is like a simple square box. It come up with 5 standard pins 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this is the top view of relay coil. In between 1 and 3 pins if you see the internal construction of relay coil there is a coil mechanism inside between one and three pins and second pin is simply connected with fourth pin which is treated as NC and named as normally closed and fifth pin is NO which is normally open and second pin is common. So this is the internal construction of relay and this is your top view of relay coil. So this this kind of relay how to drive electrical load by using microcontroller logic. So in this coming to the physical connection of this relay coil they will give this first pin to the required DC source. So generally your relays are available with voltage category like 5 volts DC relay coil, 12 volts DC relay coil, 24 volts DC relay coil and from that you need to understand what is the operating voltage of this particular coil. So based on that, you need to provide the sufficient voltage to this coil, then so you need to understand the behavior of relay. So whenever you are taking 5 volts DC relay coil, especially for all microcontroller interfaces, they will prefer 5 volts DC relay coils. And if you go with some high-end 
like solutions or high end products they may deal with 12 volts dc relay coils or 24 volts dc relay coils depends on the output and input of your sensors so now you need to provide the sufficient voltage is first pin of the relay coil which is first pin and third pin is operated with your logic from the i o pins and coming to the second and fourth and five pins so this is separate mechanism internally like a simple needle mechanism between second and fourth which is always connected with fourth pin so it is treated as nc always and how to connect my electrical load with this relay coil so this is your ac source alternator symbol and anyway ac source which maintains two standard polarities phase and neutral and the load you may take as lamp or fan or tv whatever it is and the general connection is required for load and sources you need to provide your phase source phase lead source to the load phase lead and you have to connect your source neutral end with a load neutral end so but here i am trying to do the the phase and phase lead of source and load i am connecting directly and neutral end of source i am giving to second pin of the relay coil which is common pin and the fifth pin which is no i am giving to load neutral end so until unless you are not energizing your coil of dc relay coil so your load state is off because neutral is opened with the load so your neutral is not reaching to load so that your load is off state so when your load is off state whenever you are not energizing this coil so what is the reaction whenever you are trying to energize the coil and how to energize this coil so already the first pin is given to 5 volts dc source and based on the logic of your io pin basically your io pins have different states of logics so few controllers allows logic 1 default state and logic 0 default state for other controllers but i am trying to interface this relay coil with microcontroller which is 8051 now so 8051 microcontroller ios default state is logic 1 so logic one means what you need to understand it provides 5 volts voltage across ios see the first end of the relay coil which is given to 5 volt source already and third pin which is also given to io and which is maintaining 5 volts so whenever you are maintaining or whenever you are maintaining potential difference between two leads of conductor so this is one end and the other end also if you are providing 5 volts so there is no voltage flow through this conductor because your potential difference is zero so when your voltage is allows to pass through this conductor whenever you are maintaining zero volts or less than 5 volts so depends on how much voltage you are providing to other end based on that your conductor allows to flow the voltage from one end to other end so now according to me the first end is already given to dc source and third lead of relay coil is given to io whenever you are maintaining logic 1 you are not maintaining any potential difference because one first lead is also maintaining 5 volts and third pin is also maintaining 5 volts but now according to me i am trying to change my logic in the program to zero because your io behaves as per your programming you can keep logic 1 or logic 0 once you are assigning zero in the program then your voltage starts flowing through this coil so whenever you are passing some voltage through the coil so as per kirchhoff's law it produces some magnetic force so any any conductor which will generate some magnetic force and because of this magnetic flux the needle which is attracted towards fifth pin of the relay coil so this is this is a simple reaction happens with your relay coils whenever it energizes it produces your magnetic flux and because of this magnetic flux this needle is attracted towards fifth pin because this fifth pin is always near to coil and fourth pin is away to coil and whenever you are changing logic 0 for io then only you can see the reaction from relay coil it is attracted towards fifth pin again you are changing your logic to 1 
from program then your coil start demagnetizes then this needle again it will go for both way so this is a simple reaction you can expect from relay coil even you can you can hear the uh, like audio or some simple sound like tick tick whenever you are operating relay coils you may get that physical noise from your relays okay so this is how whenever your your second needle second pin is connecting with fifth pin your load comes to on because your neutral is reaching to low again you are making logic one from program it is detaching with your second pin and connecting with fourth pin so that your neutral is going to open between load and source so this this is a simple construction required or simple connection required between electrical load and relays with microcontroller ios so you can apply this interface with any microcontroller this is the same procedure you need to follow you need to maintain just potential difference between two leads of relay coil then it produces your magnetic force and because of this magnetic force this internal needle part which is going to operate based on magnetic force so this is how you can control your electrical load with relays you can drive any kind of single phase load so it may be fan or it may be tube or it may be any single phase motor you can connect across the load you need to take your ac source and just connect your the third pin of the relay coil with ios so this is how you can work a simple applications like home automation and direction control or speed control of ac motor or load control for ac ac loads you can do whatever the application you want you can proceed even with some project titles in further videos with relay and microcontroller with some sensors interfaces or with some module interfaces like you can do the member number of projects with electrical load and lcd and keypad like you are trying to do some password protected loads operations or automatic power management so all these kind of applications you can implement by knowing this relay interfacing with microcontrollers so for more videos please subscribe our channel aerotech solutions from youtube thank you thanks for watching